You're cruising down the highway, enjoying the drive, when suddenly your dashboard lights up with warnings. The GPS reroutes you to an unfamiliar location, your radio starts blasting static, and worst of all, your brakes don't respond. It feels like something straight out of a sci-fi thriller, but this isn't fiction. This is car hacking, and it's a reality that most people don't even think about. Modern cars aren't just vehicles anymore. They're rolling computers, packed with sensors, wireless connections, and millions of lines of code. Every system designed to make driving more convenient, keyless entry, GPS navigation, automatic braking, tire pressure monitoring is also a potential entry point for hackers. And the worst part, most drivers have no idea how vulnerable their cars actually are. Let's start with something simple, tire pressure monitoring systems. These are designed to alert you when your tires need air, a safety feature that helps prevent blowouts. But hackers have found ways to exploit them, triggering false warnings that make you think your tires are in trouble. Even worse, these systems transmit signals that can be intercepted, allowing attackers to track your vehicle's movements in real time. Imagine someone knowing exactly where you are at all times just because they hijacked a basic safety feature. Now let's talk about something even more terrifying, your brakes. You might think that pressing the brake pedal directly stops the car, but in reality, modern braking systems rely on electronic control units. These are tiny computers that process your input and send commands to the braking system. If a hacker gains access to your car's network, they can disable your brakes entirely, leaving you helpless. They can also force your car to accelerate, putting you in a situation where you have no control over your own vehicle. And it's not just outside attackers. Even repair shops have been caught manipulating onboard diagnostic systems. These systems are used to identify issues in your car, but unscrupulous mechanics can alter them to make it seem like you need expensive repairs that aren't necessary. A simple software tweak, and suddenly your dashboard is full of fake warnings, pressuring you to spend money on fixes you don't actually need. Think about how often you use your car's entertainment system. Maybe you stream music, connect your phone via Bluetooth, or even plug in a USB drive to play your favorite songs. Now imagine this. An MP3 file loaded with hidden malware sneaks into your car's infotainment system. From there it spreads like a virus jumping from the entertainment system to more critical functions, your engine, your steering, your brakes, and it doesn't stop there. Have you ever had your GPS suddenly suggest an alternate route? Usually it's harmless, maybe it's avoiding traffic, but what if a hacker manipulates your GPS, sending you somewhere you weren't planning to go? Maybe it's just a prank, or maybe it's something far more dangerous. Even the simple act of unlocking your car isn't as safe as you think. Wireless key fobs are designed to open your car when you're close by, but with the right equipment, thieves can extend their range. That means they can unlock your car while you're inside your house thinking your car is secure. No broken windows, no alarms, just an unlocked car waiting to be stolen. And then there's the data problem. Cars today collect massive amounts of information where you drive, how fast you go, even when you brake. This data is stored in systems connected to the internet, which means if someone hacks into it, they can see your entire driving history. They can learn where you live, where you work, and even where you take your kids to school. It gets even worse. Hackers can mess with things you'd never expect, like your air conditioning. Imagine driving in the middle of summer and suddenly, your car's heating system turns on full blast. Or in freezing winter, your AC starts pumping out ice-cold air. It might sound like a joke, but in extreme temperatures, this could be a serious health risk. Even windshield wipers can be hacked, turning them on randomly or spraying cleaning fluid continuously, blocking your vision at the worst possible moment. All of this makes you wonder, are we giving up too much control for the sake of convenience? Older cars didn't have these vulnerabilities because they didn't rely on software to function. Take the Porsche 911, for example. It's one of the few cars that has stayed true to its roots, focusing on mechanical precision rather than unnecessary technology. Older 911 models don't have digital systems that can be remotely hacked. No keyless entry to exploit. No overcomplicated electronics, just pure driving. And that's the thing. If your car doesn't depend on a computer to control essential functions, hackers have nothing to target. The more connected a car is, the more doors we open for cyber threats. Car hacking isn't some distant futuristic threat, it's happening now. White hat hackers have already demonstrated how they can remotely take control of moving vehicles, turning the steering wheel, slamming the brakes, or cutting the engine, all from a laptop miles away. If they can do it, what's stopping someone with bad intentions? The more technology we cram into vehicles, the more control we give away. And if we're not careful, we might wake up one day realizing we're no longer the ones in the driver's seat. <laughs>